What's up, I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are doing some more Unified Minds. Of course, the hottest new set for the Pokemon TCG, and the sets, the set is pretty good, but the pulls are amazing so far, so we're umping the ante. We got 10 more packs, and more importantly, our Tortuga pull count is at 2 still, so we need to step up our game, and uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take to uh, find that legendary reverse tortuga let's get right into pack number one as always guys if you do want to support the i want a turtle tcg channel do me a favor hit that like button down below and if you're not already a sub give take a moment and hit that sub button as well i greatly greatly appreciate that going into pack number one we got a dewblade orangaroo Laurentis, tynamo a Cosmog, a Salandit. Some of these cards are like super boring. <laughs> 70 HP, one red for 10 damage. Wow. Even for this Gibble. And then we have a Sawaddle. It's Pokemon takes us 10 damage from attacks. Whoa, that's super useful. A Lolan Grimer. That's a common. And then a regular rare Steelix. This card's actually interesting. Ground Steam, Stream, uh, attach two fighting energy from your discard pile. That way you can use Giga... Nope, you would still need some additional ramp up, but during your turn, this Pokemon can't attack. 220. Uh, you know, use some sw switch shenanigans, and he's using that attack again. Steelix deck. Maybe. Just maybe. Put some off the side. Alright, but yeah, Unified Minds. Gotta say, I feel like uh, the reaction's very positive so far. I think it has to do with the pull rates. And uh, yesterday I kind of talked about a running theory where this was kind of intended. Maybe this is not the most pack sets, therefore maybe the up the pull rates. That'd be awesome if these rates kind of stick around. But you know, uh, in my head I'm wondering if I'll kind of go back to kind of like six hits per box. Uh, but especially with Hidden Fates coming around the corner, which I am super hyped about. Um, yeah, it would be amazing if we kept these rates. Although there's no booster box, so we're going to be working off ETBs exclusively. We got a Yon Mega. So the after in, in every pack, so it's like usually it's like oh at the end of the pack that's where the rare is. But for me, it's in the uncommon slot. Oh, just a Dragonair. No good. We gotta look. We gotta find them turtles. Save them sea turtles. Obama Snow. Ooh, we've been pretty good on this reverse rare slot. Victini, ah, oh, this is pretty cool, interesting. Alright, victory sign. Search your deck for two basic energy cards, different types, and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Interesting card. There are, hmm, there, I feel like there's a lot of ramp up in this set. So I feel like there's a little bit of everything. There's some interesting ramp up. There's a um, good amount of tag team hate, a little bit of tag team support, and then obviously lots of strong tag teams themselves and some cool GX's as well. So a little bit of everything. We got a Breloom. Excited to see how the standard meta kind of updates as this set kind of matures. During points next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage. No thank you. Fletchender, Snover, Murkrow, and Meditite Reverse. He's doing his stretches. Very good for you. And Obama Snow. Hmm. I agree there's good pull rates, but uh, so far I haven't been getting too many good pulls. <laughs> Alright, but uh, yeah, it does seem like that chase card is that Mew Mewtwo. Yeah, I can't say it's super surprising. Ah, this is the wrong turtle! I feel like we pull a good amount of those too, not enough Tortugas. Fletchling, Onyx, Fletchender, Stover, Murkrow. A Gibble for the reverse, and then a Ooh Pheasant, Unpheasant. That sounds like a German word. Alright. This is a pretty, uh, fairly dull, dull opening so far. Can we kick it up a notch right here? We're gonna need some, uh, something spicy. Let's see, we got a Psychic Energy. Giant Hurt. Pretty good card, in my opinion. Vigoroth. Audino. A Drillbur, Slakecoth, Fungus, Honedge, 
a Magnemite, Riolu for the reverse, and oh my gosh, still no hits. This is uh, this is getting a little worrisome. Come on, we can't get shut out out of ten packs, right? That can't be, that can't be a thing. This card. It's like, oh no, okay. I thought the card had a nick in it, but I think that was one of the earlier cards. Alright, uncommon slots. Here we go. We got one try. Dark City. Two tries. Musharna. This is... What am I looking at? And then... Ah, Misty's Favor. Eh, actually, that card's not bad. And then, going through some commons, we got Slaykoth, Drillbur, Fungus, Hone Edge, a Magnemite, a Bidoof, for the common uh, reverse, and then a ooh gold card. We got a recycling energy. I actually don't even know what this does. Let's take a quick look. This card provides a colorless energy. If this card is discarded from play, put it into your hand instead of the discard pile. Interesting. How can we use this card discarded discarded from play? Oh, okay. So it's not discarded from play. Does that include when your Pokemon gets knocked out? Because if so, I remember uh, Crazy Code Porygon Z. And if these things keep coming to your hand, let's say you got all of them and you just keep dumping them out there and, uh, I don't know, using Dragonite GX. Hmm, let me know in a comment down below if that's how Recycle Energy works. Actually, let me grab a perfect fit. So, we did get a Secret Rare Pull, which is awesome. This card is deserving of this perfect fit sleeve. If you, uh, I highly recommend you kind of do these perfect fits for your uh, hyper rares, secret rares, maybe full arts if you have some good ones or ones that you really care about. Unless you're getting a PSA graded, I feel like this is the way to store your card and then you can even put this still in the top loader. It'll be a little tight, but um, I feel like it's a great way to uh, protect your cards and even if you uh, are playing you know, with the cards, even more so. Kind of like, I mean, imagine what it would take for dust to get in there. And uh, so, and if you're actually looking for some links um, to find, like these are the KMC perfect fits into the KMC hypermats. There's a bunch of Amazon links down below, and with some pretty good prices as well. So check those out if you're curious. And uh, yeah, actually, this turned out to be a fire opening. We got a secret rare trainer recycle energy. Now we just need to find them turtles we gotta we gotta rescue some turtles oh god not this thing again what is this come on we got shot number two dragon air and then yes <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I had a better reaction for <laughs> tortuga than the secret rare but all right there we go tortuga number three um that there we go in the bag putting that off to the side and uh yeah, I still want that reverse, but we'll take it. And let's see, Litwick. Ah, another Slaykoff. And then a, ooh, old, or full art Naganadal. Naganadal, like GXs? Is it me, or do they always look the same? This looks like the Dragon's Majesty one, only like mirrored on the Y axis. Like, if you just flip it, is that not the same art? <laughs> but uh, actually, I think this card's actually pretty good. Once in your turn, before your attack, you may discard an Ultra Beast card from your hand if you do draw three cards. That's a pretty good um, draw engine. And remember, Poipole is also an Ultra Beast too. And then Venom Shot, it's pretty high cost. Discard two energy card, uh, two energy from this Pokemon. Hey, use those uh, recycle energies. This attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so that means it can attack the bench. Injection is kind of awkward with this lightning energy. Add a card from your opponent's discard pile to their prize. That's really interesting. Um, I personally don't like it because it doesn't actually attack, and to use your attack to stall your opponent, like I feel like you're opening this thing up to be knocked out for your opponent to take two prize cards, so it's not really worth it to put one additional prize for them to claim. But, uh, ooh. Man, what? This is like my, uh, for, for like per pack, this is the best un Unified Minds opening I've had yet. We got uh, Secret Rare, we got Full Art, and most importantly, we got a Tortuga. So, do me a favor guys, hit that like button down below for this amazing opening. And we still got two more packs. Archon, Lampent, and boom! Ah, Breloom. Cubone, 
Yanma, Young Goose, Cryogonal. I really struggle to say that. <laughs> Kira Blast for the reverse, and then a Archeops. Let's see, U turn 40, switch for your bench. Hyper Beam, discard energy. Hmm. Love its efficiency, but sounds pretty weak, especially for stage 2. Alright, can we get some last pack magic? You know what we're looking for. We need another turtle. Alright, fairy energy. Re Relicanth. Blues tactics. I think this is a very interesting card as well. Eight cards too, that's a lot. Lampent. And sure, you can't use it that turn, so it'll probably like... It won't help you develop right away, but just to refill your hand. The only thing about it is the reset stamp. Nothing counters a blues tactic better than reset stamp. Especially if you have low prize cards. So, hmm, maybe that's almost too much of a hard counter. Uh, Tornadus. Can't this very really surprise. Oh, I know it's an uncommon. And uh, Amoongus. So, good news, everyone. We have upped our Tortuga count to three and uh, I got I'll probably slap some perfect fits on these guys so we have pulled our third tier Tuga which I am super stoked about and then additionally we got this Naginato full art yeah, I, I, I think this is like this art is very recycled from Dragon's Match out to double check and then boom secret rare recycle energy hmm wonder if we can make a make this card work but uh that's it for today's opening guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel um thanks for helping us get to 400 subs i really happy that we were able to pass that milestone um yeah we'll probably do some kind of a giveaway in the near future um either we'll do a ultra shiny gx or maybe hidden fates kind of thing uh later on in the month so definitely stay tuned for that thanks for all the support though as always like comment and subscribe all down below i'm wanda turtle and i'll catch you guys next time